as shown in the figure that water is emerging out the cross sectional area at the upper end is 1.2 cm square while at the lower end it is 0.35 cm square the distance between the upper and the lower end that is the height h which is equals to 45 mm we are asked to find the flow rate of water so to find the flow rate uh, from of, of water from the tap we will use the formula r is equals to a not v not in the given data we have the area a not at the upper end which is 1.2 cm square so by converting into meter square it will be 1.2 10 power minus 4 meter square the lower cross section area that is 0.35 cm square so it will be 0.35 10 power minus 4 meter square while the height between the two different areas a naught and a and that is 45 millimeters so it will be 45 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 meter we know that the volume flux is equal on both the ends so therefore we can use the equation of continuity so according to equation of continuity a naught v naught equals to a v as we can see that water is falling freely under the effect of gravity each element of the water is fall, falling freely under the effect of gravity that's why we can use the third equation of motion so this equation is 2 g h equals to v square minus v naught square we are asked to find the flow rate when the water was coming out or emerging out from the tail so we have the value of a naught the cross section area a naught but we do, do not uh, have any value for v naught so first we need to find the value of v naught so we can find this value v naught by equating the third equation of motion and the continuity equation we need to find the value for v naught so that's why we have to eliminate this v so I can put the value of V from the continuity equation. A naught V naught divided by A is equals to V. So this value can be, can be put in equation number one. So the equation one will be 2GH equals to a naught v naught over a whole square minus v naught square I can rewrite this equation like 2 g h is equals to a naught square v naught square over a square minus v naught square now in further solution I will take LCM a square so it will be a naught square v naught square minus v naught square and a square so I can take common v naught square so it will be a naught square minus a square v naught square is taken as common divided by a square is equals to 2 g h by cross multiplication The relation will be 2gh a square is equals to v naught square or a naught square minus a square. So to get the value of only v naught I have to take square root on both sides. So by taking the square root I will get the value 2gh a square whole divided by a naught square minus a square whole under the root so now I have all the values I have the value of gravity height 
cross sectional area at the lower end while the cross sectional area at the upper end so by putting the values we can get the uh, result for the velocity v naught so by putting the values and by solving we get the answer for the v naught that is 0 0.286 meter per second as you remember as you remember that in the question uh, we are asked to find the volume flow rate which i wrote earlier r is equals to a naught v naught so now i have the value of v naught and a naught is already given in the data so i can easily calculate the value for uh, flow rate volume flow rate so a naught is 1.2 10 power minus 4 while v naught is 0 0.286 so by this i will get the value so the answer is 0 0.3432 10 power minus 4 meter cube per second if you want to convert it into centi uh, centimeter cube so that will be uh, 34 Point three ten power minus two meter cube per second to so thirty four point three centimeter cube per second is the volume flow rate for that water emerging out from the tip.